We have beautiful weather here for this weekend, mostly sunny skies and highs in the upper 80s. Hello, my name is Jeff Fisher, and we are the Treasure Packs channel. Enjoy, and thank you. My opening comment is to say the molded plastic body is of rugged design and will give years of service. Our observation is the MX-5 is comparable to the MXT and at a very affordable price. Hello, my name is Jeff Fisher and this is my son Benjamin. And he just got an MX-5 metal detector. We're going to unbox it and do a review for you. sophisticated about it. And it comes with a nice battery pack and we'll explain to you how that looks later. First we need to take the hardware and get it out of the bag. What we want to do is we want to take the upper rod and place it or fasten it into the S part of the detector. And tighten it. And then what we can do is fasten it into the lower rod. Tighten that as well. Now Benson's going to take the rod assembly and he's going to wind the cable up around the rod assembly. Start from over the top. Okay, now what we'd like to do is take this spider coil, this nine and a half inch spider coil, and now that we have the cable wrapped around the assembly, you want to fold your cable back as if you're putting it in storage. That'll give you enough slack here so that when you're ready to detect, it leaves enough room for you to fold it back. Now he'll place his hand on the search coil cable, hold it in place so it don't walk back, and he'll go ahead and make it tight up along the shaft. Next we're going to plug the cable into the jack on the front of the control box, and then we'll tighten the retainer ring. And now it's time to install the battery and it stays in. I like the detachable buttons on the side. Go ahead and give them an example. Really nice. Go ahead and install it. Now it's time to install the arm strap. Keep your Velcro up. Feed it through the holes. And there you go. I think the balance on this thing is excellent. Overall design, it looks appealing We're to me. We're outside now. We actually went over to a site that we like to hunt. It's Greentown. Uh, it's a Native American village. We found a lot of cool artifacts here. We're going to run the MX-5 on this property. I got Ed Markley here on the site of Greentown. He's got the V3i. 
I brought my boy here to uh, do a review on an MX-5 metal detector. I can honestly say I think the MX-5 would run competition with us as soon as he hits the ground here. This is my other boy Zachary. We're on the side of Greentown. He located an object with the MX-5. He's got it in the in the hand. What do you got there? Pot shard. Pot shard. Okay, we got an iron pot shard. Time for me to measure. Looks like I got some work cut out for me. Zachary, go ahead and bring it over here so we can have a look at it. It's got an interesting feature on there. We'll clean it up when we get home and uh, we'll get a label on it. Uh, that's the first confirmed find with us on an MX-5. Good job, Zach. This is Ed Markley. He's located a target with his V3i. We got Zachary in the woods with the MX-5. He found a relic. We're hunting with the MXTs, the V3i's. And he's running competition with us. He's doing a good job. He's got something in the dirt there. There we go. Confirmed hit. Okay, what I'm going to do first is Zachary's find. He found an iron pot shard. It's a broken piece of iron from a main cooking pot. I always measure from the north and always from the east on any given uh, plot. 100 foot plot. With my worksheet out here in Greentown, we have the dates 9-22-13. My boy Zachary found a iron pot shard, which his initials dedicated to K today. So I have him recorded as K in the 14M area, which is here. It's 9-22-13. The measurement always from the north, 7 foot 1 inch. Always from the east, 39 foot 8 inches. Here's the piece of iron pot shard that Zachary found. It's a part of a side of the pot. Uh, I'm going to record it. Iron pot shard. Good handwriting is important in a situation like this. You get home and you need to know what you found and if you can't read your writing you're kind of doomed. The guys are all in the woods yet, but uh, Benjamin said he has another find. He's going to be digging it, so I want to get over there and make sure that uh, we see what it is and get the measurements from that. So stay with us. Okay, Benjamin's got a target here at Greentown. Uh, what's the number read for the VDI number? Negative 28. Negative 28. It's probably iron, but we're going to dig it. We dig everything here. What do you got? Hold it up. Oh my. Okay, I, I got Ed Markley here on the Greentown site. He's got a, a target. What's it reading on the VDI? On the VDI, we're looking at uh, 48, 47, 48. Call it. What do you think it is? I'm going to say a button. A button? Okay, how deep? Oh, five inches deep. Okay, Benjamin, come in with your MX-5 spider coil. And he's picking it up. So we're going to have Benjamin dig it, and it's Ed's find. Might be a mixed target, too. Could yeah, be could be a mixed, mixed target. He's pinpointing. Okay, we're going to have him dig it. Stay tuned. The trick is to dig straight down around the target so we don't damage anything. And uh, he's pulling up some soil. There it is. Small. How big? Uh, it's either a button or... Yeah, I think it's a button. Are you serious? It is a button. Good call, Ed. <laughs> no, 
No. Bullet. Bullet? Musket ball. Musket ball. Okay. That's still a good call. It would range in the button area. What caliber? Probably 36, 38. 38, yeah, 38, 40. Bring it over here. I'd like to have a look at it. And there it is. It, it hit something that's flat on one side. Low impact. Okay, we have Ed Markley here with a V3i. We have Benjamin here with an MX5. Benjamin found or dug up the 38 caliber bullet or muzzle ball. Ed Markley discovered it. It was five inches deep. Five inches deep. And Benjamin was able to pick that up with his MX5. So if you want a relic hunter, I would say the MX-5 is a good bet. Um, we like our V3Is and they're powerful, but uh, I think he can keep us pretty busy. Okay, this concludes the hunt for today. I got a couple stragglers back in the woods. My boy can't quite give up the day, but he's got an MX-5, so he's happy. Uh, we found a brass shard. We found two iron fragments, a 38 muzzle loader ball, and a frism. So we have them all recorded here on the worksheet. I can't wait to go home and put this in a catalog. I like the data we get from it, and it's exciting. It's a lot of work, but we get her done. See ya. Well, that concludes another segment of Treasure Facts. Watch for us next month, and we'll come up with something new for you. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe. Pass this link on to others. We would appreciate that. And thank you.